if you're a photographer like me, at some point you would have taken a picture with your camera, found that it looked okay in the viewfinder, only to get it home, put it on your computer, and see that it's out of focus. Ah, it's annoying, isn't it? But today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix this in Photoshop. Hi guys, my name's Ben Taylor and I'd like to really welcome you to today's tutorial. If this is your first time here, then you should definitely subscribe because this means you can enjoy learning at your own pace. So we've all experienced this before. We've taken a picture, we've put it on our computer only to realise it's a bit out of focus. I've done this many times when I first started out as a photographer and it's very annoying when you're looking and capturing that beautiful moment only to have your hopes crushed when you arrive home and look at it on your computer. The good news though, is that you can fix this inside Photoshop. The bad news is if it's really blurry and really out of focus, then there is nothing that can be done in any photo editing software, and that's because there's no detail to start with. So keep that fresh in your mind as we go through the tutorial, that you can fix out of focus photos as long as they're a little bit out of focus and not really, really blurry. So let's jump in now and get started. Okay guys, so this is the image that we're gonna be working with today. So let's just zoom in a little bit. You can probably see it's out of focus, but I know that people watching it on their mobile may struggle to see this. So let's just zoom in a bit more. Now you should be able to see that the face is out of focus. Now the front of the face is a bit more in focus than the back, but that's because the photographer was trying to create that style when he was taking the photo. What he wasn't trying to do though, was to actually keep the face out of focus. So that's why we're gonna fix this, and then you're gonna be able to learn how to do this with your photos as well. So let's zoom out a little bit. Now the first step I'm gonna take, as always, is to create a duplicate layer. I'm gonna do that by pressing Control J, you can also do that by pressing Command-J if you're working on a Mac. Now we've got the duplicate layer, let's, let's first find out how we're gonna fix this. So the way I'm gonna fix this today is by using a filter. But something you need to know when you use a filter in Photoshop is that you need to convert it to a smart object. I'll show you what I mean. If I just quickly was to go along and add a filter to this, so let's come to Pixelate and go on to Mosaic. Let's say I want this horrible effect. I'm gonna click OK. Then I change my mind and I decide actually, I don't want her face looking so pixelated after all. I don't have any options to change it. So there's nothing I can do. The only thing I can do is to take a step back and then restart the whole process. But if I convert this to a smart object, watch, I'll press right click here, and then I'll go convert to smart object on the layer. Now watch what happens when I add a filter. I'm gonna to go to filter, down to pixelate, and down to mosaic. If I click OK now, and then I decide that I wanna change this, I have this option down here. I can double click on mosaic and then change the strength at any time. So it's so important for you to hear this. You must always convert the layer to a smart object if you're using a filter in Photoshop. So I'm gonna press cancel. I'm gonna take a step back so that we have our layer here again. The filter we're gonna be using is this one here. I'm gonna to go up to filter. I'm gonna come down to sharpen and then to unsharp mask. I found this to be the best way of bringing detail back in an out of focus photo. So let's just explain to you how this works. You've got an amount slider first, that's the amount of sharpening. You've got a radius slider which controls the sharpening in the areas of the photo and you've got a threshold slider which I advise you just leave alone. <laughs> because generally it doesn't really help in the sharpening process. So let's drag the amount slider all the way up. Now you may have noticed that that's made no change or no difference. So what do we do? Well, this is where the radius slider comes into its own. The radius slider 
controls the sharpening of the noise in the image. Maybe sounding a little bit complicated, but let me show you. If I bring up the radius up to about 1.1, look what happens. You can see that we're actually sharpening the noise in the image. And this is bringing back the detail that we need. So that's actually looking really good. I'm just going to pump it up a little bit more to about 1.4. And that's a pretty good place. Now you've got to remember this. Whenever you use a radio slider, keep it low. Low is the way to go. And if I bring this radio slider all the way up, look what happens to the face. It looks like an absolute nightmare. So let's bring this down to about 1.4 again, or 1.5. And that looks great. Now just to show you what I meant about threshold, if I bring the threshold up, you can see it softens the features, and obviously we don't want that because we want to sharpen them. So I'm going to bring the threshold down to zero, and then click OK. Now we haven't finished yet though guys, so stick with me, because let's just quickly zoom out, have a look at the before and after. This is the before, it's out of focus, it's blurry, and this is the after. You can now see the detail in the face. We only wanted to sharpen the face in this image though, and bring back the detail there. So to do that, we need to hide this effect on our mask. So I'm going to click on the mask, press Ctrl I, and this is going to hide the effect. We now want to finally paint this back into the face, so we are only affecting that area. To do that, choose a brush here, just a soft one, and then make sure you're on white, because white reveals and black hides on a mask. So I want to reveal this area. So now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm finally just going to paint over areas of the face here. Just like that. And this is going to bring the face back into focus. Okay, so let's just zoom out now and have a look at what we've done. So this is the before, out of focus, a bit blurry, and this is the after. A nice photo which is in focus. Now something that's really worth you knowing is if you're printing an image and you're blowing it up huge then you wouldn't want to use this. But if you're using this for websites or social media like Facebook or Instagram then this is absolutely going to work for you. So just bear that in mind when you're using this effect. I hope you found today's tutorial helpful, especially if you are looking at fixing out of focus photos. Now I've created a playlist for you guys to enjoy, which is over here. It's got Photoshop tutorials, which are gonna help you accomplish more. So you could just watch that anytime you want, anytime you've got free, just click on that, and then you can watch video after video and learn more about Photoshop. So hopefully that's gonna be helpful to you too. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and if you give me a thumbs up on this video it would mean so much because I spend a lot of my time making these videos for everyone to enjoy. Whatever you do today guys, have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.